the same genocidal war that is going on now, right now in Darfur. We are urging the international community and major industrial nations in the world that care about human rights and freedom and peace to help the Nuban people and avert a genocidal war that is being planned against them right now. Our intention is to pressure and urge the international community, US, EU, AU, EGAT, and international NGOs to take action to avert another genocidal war in Sudan or in Nuba Mountain. The world has crying no more Auschwitz, no more Holocaust, no more Rwanda, no no more Vietnam, and yet we're here again and again at it. Genocidal war and ethnic cleansing, atrocity are still taking place with a greater intensity. Save the Nubian people in the Nuba Mountain. Today is us, the Nuba people, tomorrow is the world. Again, you have briefed the cold weather today to come here and um, express your voice. And we appreciate your help and your support. As that you see the world today, it requires your help to stand up uh, for your right as a free being. I'll give a chance for anybody who would like to say a word. And thank you very much for your uh, uh, present here. Brothers and sisters, what we just heard is just a very little part of what is taking place now. We've been involved in a war, in a civil war, that took place in our country, Sudan, for 20 years, all together with our brother Southerners. We came to the peace agreement and we had the part of popular consult consultation. And that popular consultation was supposed to take place before the referendum that was to be for the, our brothers, Southerners. We thank and appreciate the outcome of the CPA. But on the other hand, all what happened did not come to the fulfillment in the right way or in the right manner, which it seems to happen a full negligent of the outcome of the CPA is not gonna take place as the way it's supposed to be. Our coming out today is to express that if the CPA results are not taken place in full and then simply a lot of people will be victims of that CPA, and in particular, Nuba Mountains. Today, and I think everybody who's really looking into the world affairs would have seen that the government is overloading 
Nubo Mountains region with the artilleries and the arms to terrorize the peaceful people of Nubo Mountains. And the government is going on still to bombard our brother southerners so that the referendum should not take a place as they are intending. And we consider that to bring the awareness of the people, the bad intention of the government and what it is willing to do to the Sudanese people. We speak it out aloud today to, ex to express it and to let everybody know that people of Southern Sudan, and people of Nuba Mountain, and people of, uh, people of Blue Nile, therefore, are full, have the full rights as Sudanese people to practice in Sudan. But the government, which is being supported by the Arab culture and the Islamic culture, trying to impose it upon the Sudanese people to change their culture and to, ch to change their ethnical habits, which we don't agree with. are peaceful people and seek to live a humanitarian life like anybody else. Such events that take place in different areas of Sudan, especially in Nuba Mountains. It is for the democracy that we move in a such way. We are in the ride at the Vancouver Gallery Press to performing our right to the Nuba people who are left out and the searching for their help. The whole community can help the Nuba people of Sudan.